What's good everyone, you dig, 4Eyes, 2Gs here, and today I'm here to follow up on my first video I did on the 2017 XXL list, and touch on the 5 remaining artists. You guys have probably seen my other videos on this, but if you haven't, I basically go through the XXL list and talk about where they're at right now. I already did 5 artists in my other videos, so I'm gonna do rest of the 5 in this video. And first, I want to touch on X. And firstly, a bit of an apology and lack of foresight. A title like Where Are They Now takes on a different tone when you're talking about X. Understand that there was no disrespect intended. I had already named the video series that for 2016 and people were asking me to do a 2017 one So I did and just kept the same name without thinking just know there was no disrespect intended or anything like that and apologies But talking about X leading up to his death He was quite well on his way to becoming a generational artist His numbers have skyrocketed since he passed but even the numbers he was doing before his death both on his singles and his projects were pretty high easily making him bigger than anyone else out of his generation in 2017 and bigger than most out of the 2016 generation as well. Say what you want about his music or his personal actions, but the man really resonated with the youth and spoke to them. And I don't think we've seen an artist quite fill that void and that lane that he had yet. It's unfortunate that we've never got to see the rest of his career play out and see where he would have gone. May he rest in peace. Alright though, moving on and lighting up the mood a little bit, we get to Kyle, and Kyle is a bit of a layered discussion, because to myself, and I feel like my audience who watches my videos, he was never really relevant to begin with, he never really made the music that connected or was really for us, everything from his happy personality, to his image, to his music, was always kinda targeting a younger audience, which is cool, because Kyle so far has been able to kinda stay in that box and feed them what they want, he'll never have the breakthrough success of I Spy again, but but with songs like Hey Julie and Play With Me, it's evident that he recognizes his audience he has and he knows how to pander to them. Hey Julie may as well have just been I Spy Part 2. His music isn't for me, but that's not taken away from it. He was able to take the break into the game that I Spy gave him and establish a nice little fan base from it. Do I see him getting much bigger than he is now? Not really, but will be interesting to see where he goes on and how he tries to mature his sound from here. Everyone in the comments below, I want you to tell me your favorite freestyle from the 2017 list. Me Personally, I really like the way Ugly God flowed and he had some nice bars as well. So he's probably my favorite, but let me know your favorite freestyle from this list. And moving on, we get to Amine. And Amine is another kind of interesting one. He blew up crazy with that initial Smash Caroline that ended up going four times platinum and he got thrusted into this lane, into the spotlight. But since then, to me personally, he has never really proven himself to be an overly noteworthy artist. Not saying he's fallen off because he's been able to keep himself relevant with tracks like Spice Girl and the Platinum really in, but as an artist in my opinion, he's kind of one dimensional, and for me, I would rather go listen to Smino, Reggie Snow or Goldlink if I was to listen to this type of music. I don't see him as an album artist, and I don't think anyone else really considers his projects to be overly amazing either, but if he keeps making bubblegum pop trap songs for white girls, he'll be fine and he will stay around. And before we go on guys, a quick shout out from my Instagram, big shout outs goes to 2900 Culture, my G, thanks for showing love. Appreciate that. If you guys haven't, do make sure to follow me on Instagram at your dig. Appreciate all the love and support you guys show me over there. Also, a reminder about my merch. We have the Cardi and we have the Travis Tees on deck. Link in the description to cop if you're interested. Also, if you haven't, do make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Make sure to turn on those notifications as well so you guys don't miss a video of mine. But let's get back to it. And next to touch on, we get to Kamaya. And Kamaya was an artist that I was a bit iffy on including in this list in the first place. Personally, her music isn't bad, but it doesn't necessarily stand out. And I don't think she has that female, overly sexualized image or personality that the mainstream audience generally gravitates towards for female rappers, generally speaking, at least nowadays. And right now, she seemingly is at a point where her label hasn't really been looking at her as a main artist and focusing on her rollouts. Her last project was in 2017, and across 2018 and 19, she released less than 10 songs and only two of them made streaming services. My guess is that the label thought the double XL spot plus their 2017 singles would have taken her to the mainstream, but it didn't, and she hasn't really made any sort of substantial growth since then. She even had Tiger and Quavo on a recent single, and that didn't really do anything either. 
So yeah, since 2017, she hasn't really done much to live up to what people were saying or expecting. And lastly, we get to Ugly God. And I recently did touch on Ugly God in my Artist Who Fell Off video, so I'll keep this short to not repeat myself. Simply put, since the list, Ugly God hasn't really done much to establish himself as an artist or to capitalize and grow himself. He wasn't able to follow up the buzz he got from the list with the booty tape, and his return after a lengthy break with the Bumps and Bruises project didn't do too well either. There's no denying that he's a one-hit wonder commercially speaking. However, it's important to note that he is an independent artist. So with that in mind, and the fact that his numbers are still decent, he does have a platform to grow from and some of his fans are still checking for him. But as I said, now it's a matter of making interesting enough music for that larger audience to mess with him again. Because really, his music right now is a bit bland and just doesn't stand out enough for that wider audience to start checking for him again. But that's all for me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you haven't, do make sure to hit that like button down below. Also, make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss a video of mine. And there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Do make sure to check them out if you haven't.